Na mtutukue tarifa kuu kabla eh, kuanza maongezi yetu na Barnabas Korida ambapo eh, balozi waziri wa michezo nchini balozi daktari Amina Mohamed ile alipokea ripoti kutoka kwa kamati shikilizi ya soka nchini eh, baada ya muda wa kuhudumu kutamatika hii leo tusikie basi maili matatu kuhusiana na ripoti ripoti hiyo na waziri pia baada ya kupokea semanini kuhusiana na eh, wajibikaji wa kamati hii ya shikilizi ya soka nchini FKF Ladies and gentlemen, following the expiry of the six-month term of this committee, and there being no legal provision for a term extension, I'm in consultation with the relevant stakeholders and His Excellency the President of the Way Forward in the management of Kenyan football. An official announcement on the outcome of these consultations will be announced on Thursday this week. The report handed over to me today has several recommendations that if adopted, or maybe I should actually say when adopted because we intend to adopt all these recommendations, will ensure alignment of FKF constitution with the constitution of the country, the Sports Act, and other statutory laws, including of course FIFA statutes. It will streamline operations at FKF enhance transparency and accountability, ensure the growth of talent, professionalize the management of Kenyan football, and raise the standards of football in our country. The committee has also come up with a draft constitution after extensive engagements with stakeholders and the Kenyan public, which will be shared with FIFA and subject to its concurrence, be subjected to a validation process by members of um, by the members that uh, will be announced later. From the turnout, and I think some of you are here with me on um, Sunday, uh, but from the turnout that we witnessed on Sunday, here at Kasarani, during the Mashemeji Derby between AFC and Gore, I think it's clear that we all love football dearly, and that all of us, without exception, are in support of its growth and development. And I don't believe anything else could make Kenyans happier than to actually see their local leagues managed professionally and well, and our national teams shine on the world stage. To achieve this, we need to first put our own house in order. I think you believe that, and we believe that. If our house is not in order, we will not achieve that. We will not even achieve an iota of what you have recommended. And so we insist that we must put our house in order. As a government, we are custodians of public resources, and it is our role to ensure that the taxpayers' money allocated to federations is used in a prudent and in a transparent manner. And so we'll continue doing what we're doing. Um, as I said, we started with cricket. We're extremely proud of the work that you've done in football, and we will go down the line uh, to other uh, federations which we think, or at least where the allegations, are uh, that things are not as they should be. Nam waziri wa michezo nchini, Dr. Balozi Amin Mohamed, baada kupokea ripoti yoktu kwa kamati inayongozwa na jaji mstafu Aaron Ringera, ambayo sasa wamehitimisha mudao wa kuhudumu. Tusikie maalumu matatu kusiana na na kamati hiyo na pia e, shughuli aliyofanya kwa kipindi hicho cha miezi sita kutoka kwa e, mwenyekiti wa kamati hiyo jaji mstafu Aaron Ringera will be a good bedrock of football and administration in Kenya it is a draft that introduces transparency in management of the game introduces good governance introduces many disclosure requirements on the part of the executive, which is gender sensitive, which makes the organization more inclusive. And we hope that this draft will be subjected to validation process by members of FKF and adopted by the General Assembly as the amended constitution of FKF.
The second recommendation we make is that following the adoption and enactment of the new FKF constitution, elections of FKF officials be conducted in compliance with the Constitution of Kenya, the Sports Act, and of course, the new constitution. We also recommend that FKF hands over the running of the leagues to a limited company for efficient and effective running of the leagues. We understand there has been such a company, but it has not been led to operate as it should. The fourth recommendation we make is that the Ministry of Sports, Heritage and Culture adopts the report contained in this document on the commercialization of football as a sport, including the appointment of a director of football who is to be a government employee. The report has details on that proposal. It is by activating that proposal that we'll have football on a commercial basis, like you have it in England, like you have it in Spain, and other countries, and it would be a very, very big business in terms of employment, in terms of absorbing our youth, ETC, ETC. The other recommendation we make is that the sports registrar and FKF work in harmony to ensure that clubs and branches comply with the provisions of Section 46 of the Sports Act and the FIFA club licensing rules on registration. The committee noted that the current branches of FKF are not compliant with the Sports Act, whereas the county football associations are compliant with the Sports Act, but are not members of the Federation. There is need to harmonize this by the sports registrar working with the Federation to ensure that only one body per county. Na mwenye kiti wa marefu katika kamati shikilizi ya soka nchini FKF Tetas Kasuve, hamezungumzia malipo ya marefu huku muda wa kudumu ukifika kikomo. I know we had a delay in sorting out referees for Division 1 Zone B. A mistake was made somewhere. We submitted the payments again on Saturday. For National Super League from January, we combined everything together because we had received the wrong accounts, wrong details. We were not able, and when we submit the documents, they come back. We have cleared everything. On Monday, we cleared everything. We have no outstanding debt. The monies are in the bank. I have been trying to explain what happens, where we deposit money. Money is transferred from the FKF Kiyataka committee to a bank account, a paying account in the bank. Money has already been debited from the FKF Kiyataka account. And the bank that is handling those payments are already doing it. So we have, no, we have no issue. And I believe by midday today, everything will be sorted out. Whatever has been outstanding will be sorted out. In January, the first disbandment for the clubs was given in uh, December. And actually, we have given all the clubs, the, both KPL, uh, NSL, uh, Women League, uh, the, uh, KPL, as well as NSL, up to Division One. Uh, the same thing for men. The only money that uh, already have been sent to the bank was for yesterday. That is for April. For April. So all the month that we have been there, all the clubs have received their money. So if a club says that they have not received their money, maybe the problem is with the, the bank account and something like that. But we are paid most of the clubs, all the clubs actually generally up to Division 1. So uh, we've recommended about the prize money, but what I know in our recommendation is uh, everybody is a winner, so we'll have the prize from the uh, uh, league leader and all the way to the clubs which actually participated. But that will be, in, it's in our recommendation, so whoever comes and takes it will actually implement it. In terms of uh, uh, a vacuum and league on, remember we are digitalized, our fixtures are all communicated, clubs they know exactly which games to play on, and uh, uh, there won't be a vacuum in terms of the, of the leagues. So everything will be a uh, plug and play. Um, Kenya ni nyakuwa medali yake ya pili ya dhahabu kwenye mashindano ya Deaflympics e, ni wanariya dhahabu wasio na uwezo kusikia na 